So, you're interested in buying a Windows Phone and you're looking for a little validation on your idea. Well, being a Windows Phone owner for nearly two years, allow me to give you a little bit of information on what you can expect if you go through with your purchase. So let's talk about apps. Uh, you're probably thinking that you can go to the Windows Store and download any app that you can from any other marketplace. Sadly, you're mistaken. Here are some examples. Remember that one 45 million player game, Pokemon Go, that was released during the summer? You know the one phone group that didn't have that? Windows. And we still can't. Okay, so maybe you don't care about Pokemon Go. Fair enough. What about Snapchat? Once again, Windows fails in trying to convince developers to make a version for the Windows Store. So, no app. Now, for all the other social media apps that we have, either they're forever stuck in beta, or they just send you straight to the browser version. Not much of an app. Like, an example of forever beta mode would be Instagram, or Twitter. Like, look at it. They don't update it. It still has favorites. Instagram is a prime example of forever being stuck in beta. You can't look at videos, you can't DM. Instagram it isn't really even working. Sometimes it just closes and refuses to work, so that's fun. And the DMs are insane because you can't even read them. The president could literally DM you and you would never know. The YouTube app is one that sends you straight to the browser, which isn't terrible, but it isn't ideal because you can't access all of the mobile features of YouTube. So unless you're just looking for a good flashlight app, the Windows Store will serve you fine. If you're looking for anything else, probably won't. Now on to accessories. With iPhones and Androids, you can order just about any phone case imaginable. Even more durable cases like the OtterBox, which is what I use for my Windows phone. Not with Windows. So what's the problem? Well, these OtterBox phones get discontinued not long after these phones come out. I got this phone a couple months after it was released and I had some issues with the OtterBox. So I wanted to use my warranty, get a new case, and OtterBox said, guess what? We don't make them anymore, so you gotta buy one yourself. Apparently this happens for a lot of Windows phones. When they just don't sell after a couple months, all the cases are discontinued and you have to pay a higher price on eBay. See, this all revolves around Windows just having 3% of the phone market in the US. So phone case companies just move on to a more successful phone. Now I quickly want to mention cloud storage. Now with Android and iPhone you have the cloud apps that you can get. Uh, you have Google Drive, you have uh, iCloud, and Google Drive gets you 15 free gigabytes of data and if you get certain phones in the Android lineup then you also get more free cloud data. OneDrive was spectacular. It was fast, you got 15 gigabytes, and if you bought a phone you could get 15 gigabytes again so you had 30 gigabytes constantly synced to every Everything, and then they ended it and they slimmed it down to five gigabytes and any originality that Windows had in their cloud market gone. Why is this upsetting you may ask? Because Windows needs something, okay? Apple, yes granted, Apple iCloud has five gigabytes, but it's Apple, okay? People buy that constantly. Windows with Mr. 3% over here, they need something to set them apart. Right now they're just set apart by not having any apps or any cloud storage. And this just shows you too that Microsoft is even giving up a little on the phone market. They just kind of don't want to really worry about it. They're not producing many new phones. So take that into consideration too. I wish I had this video before I bought my phone. I thought it was great. It had the best camera on the market. And then even Windows gave up on it. They stopped selling the phone after like a month or two. Now look, I know some of this might be over exaggerated. Heck, you might not care about anything I just said. Who cares about apps? A cloud. What's that doing in my phone? But it all depends on what you want in your phone. Some people just want a smartphone to be able to text and make a phone call or Google. Uh, some may want the apps, the social media side. It all depends on what you want. If you just want the basic calling and texting, well then a Windows phone will work fine. It serves its purpose. The phone is built well. I've always said I like how the phones are built. It's just I don't like the phone company. For the record, uh, Microsoft, I still love your computers. It's just your phones. It, I'm not a fan anymore, okay? So you've had the whole Windows 10 update and everything, and, and Microsoft promised we'll get those developers, we'll get you those apps, you will love your Windows phone. But we didn't, and we don't really love it any more than we did before. So this just shows you that Microsoft really isn't doing anything extra 
to get the developers to make the versions of apps we want. And look, I'm an apps guy, you know, this was my first smartphone. I'm not trying to do this whole spoiled argument of, oh, I want Snapchat, oh, I want Instagram to work, you know, this whole thing. This is my first smartphone, and I made the decision that I wanted it. Except it wasn't a very good one, and for my next decision, I'll be moving to something more mainstream, like Android or iPhone. I haven't made the decision yet. Maybe you can help me out. Let me know in the comments. But overall, you have heard my arguments. If you have any other arguments or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help. But until next time, guys, this is Karsten Frisky, signing off.